Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. In today's episode, we investigate self-healing technology and how it may be used in a smartphone's display to reduce or possibly even eliminate future scratches, as well as we'll look at Samsung's patent, which may be introduced into future devices. This and more coming up. And he can't wait. He's so excited. He, he just can't take it anymore. He's so excited. Look at that. Okay, let's get right to it. As I said right off the start, and yes, you heard me right, Samsung's flagship S10 model, which is set to be released early next year, may have a feature with self-healing technology. Now, I know this sounds really sci-fi and pretty far-fetched, but according to a new patent that was filed back in June by Samsung, the description describes the technology as having anti-fingerprinting composition and having a self-healing property which could be used on a smartphone or tablet. Now, the patent does not specifically name the S10, but given that this is Samsung's flagship model it's completely plausible to see it in this device or it may even be incorporated into another upcoming high-tech device such as the Galaxy X which will be Samsung's first foldable smartphone. Now the technology itself has been used to a limited degree before in that a self-healing property was incorporated into the LG Flex 2 back in 2015 although this was slightly different as it was only used in the body of the device and let's just say the results were not stellar by any means. Of course, there's no guarantee that this technology will work any better for Samsung, although they do have an additional three years of research and development invested into this based on the experiences from LG. So who knows, it may be better and it would definitely be a huge selling point for its phones, particularly given that Samsung's S10 has been rumored to be an all screen and bezel-less device. So it makes sense that the best place to utilize this kind of technology would in fact be on the screen itself and who knows, it may even eliminate having to use a screen protector at all. And the S10 is expected to have a number of really exciting features with the focus being on a new triple lens camera and an underscreen ultrasonic fingerprint reader. And I just released a report on these items a couple days ago. So if you missed that, then definitely click on the link above. Okay guys, that's all I have for now. Again, I just thought I would share this latest news with you because a self-healing screen would definitely be a great feature, especially when I think how many times I've dropped my S8. And although there are screen protectors for them, I find it's really hard to find a good fitting one. So if there's a protective and self-healing coating already on the screen and assuming it actually works, then this is something I definitely would like to have. I'll continue to keep you guys updated on the latest info. And just a reminder, the S10 and the Galaxy X foldable phone are expected to be launched in early 2019. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.